tako da vas je Bog potpelo, amen? Amen, ali ja možda te je Bog sam potpelo do ovdje skoraj, amen? Kje bi ti bil, če bi po svoj razmišljal, zihar ne? Ne, da ne bi bil doma zjutri, v tem hladnem vremenu, kaj je on pred centralne zdrave. Ampak se vsem pa šel, da je Bog potpelo, amen? A ni to privilegij, če bi da nas je Bog potpelo, amen? Sem vsak dan ful poležen, jaz tako ne bi bil pastor, ali pa spoh vernim, če bi sem ljubši komunist. Za drugira New Age, ali potem. Z komunizma sem se za drugira New Age sprobil. In za drugira ga New Age, ali pa drugi. Več pa ni teh, več ni teh. On je umrl za nas na krilu, stav umrl. Da, 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 da. Amen. In potem sem prišel v Anglijo, leta 95, sem šel tretji čist poletje v Anglijo. In še to me je čas mogel prasiti, mi je pot plačati in vse, da sem šel z njim. Še potem mi je plačati, da sem šel z njim. In potem sem videl Ešlija, da ima šel postov v prvi vrst. Jaz sem pa šel na tako srečanje, ki smo mi danes. Znam, da je ki bilo, ne znam. Mislim, da je bilo šesto ali osasto dni. In prvo je večer z moj tak zamudil, ker smo se izgubili v Anglijo. In pa smo v torg z jutri prišli na to konferenco. In ko sem v dozadi, ko smo not prišli, sem videl ešte, kako se z enimi ljudmi pogovarja. In sem mislil pač, da je tam ena gleš, ker to je bilo broma ljudi. In mi je Bog rekel, temu človeku moraš sediti. Kako ta človek? in da obučava se nam gleš. Ali počeš ubiti Bog, pa je zdaj to. Jaz sem ja v cepu, jaz sem ga ustal 23 let, imel sem službe na avto s Klimo, bil sem posrednik za največjo iskarsko firmo v Sloveniji. V Epaj sem jih postavil, procenti so leteli v mene. Zrihtil sem si žonene, tako da bom dva dni delil na teden. V staro bom pa evangeliziril v Sloveniji. In pa mi je rekel, bo ne, ne v staro. In pa sem bil en let tam. Mogel sem pustiti službo. Vse sem mogel pustiti, kaj je bilo, zaradi nečega. In zdaj, en in dva jih sled, kaj smaj ga imamo v tle. Aleluja. To je apostol, ki hod po celem svetu. Danes zjutri najbolj spoh ne vedel, v kjeri državi se izbudil in kje je vece. Ampak je samo dve minuti zamudil, ko sem ga povedal. Kaj reči, Rud? Kaj vam ki reči, Rud? Kaj reči? Zemljevi. 
Wow, Paul must have had an exciting life. Yeah, he went on this first holiday, second holiday. <laughs> finished in Rome. Maybe doing some shopping in Rome or something. I thought, well, I've got to come to church every week. <laughs> Listen to this boring person speaking up the front and, uh, and I remember saying, oh, I don't want to have a boring life. I want to have an exciting life. And now I just look at Matt. So look at Matt. 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 Today, uh, we north or south or east to west. Where are we going? Sorry, I've never heard of Sanctuary before. <laughs> <laughs> now I will remember you forever. But it's, it's really exciting how the, the word is going forward. I want to say if God can use us. He can, he can use you to change this world. He can use you. God has not put a, a circle on around you and said, this is as far as you go. There's no circle around you. When I was at school, I know the teacher sent me into the corner and said, stay there. <laughs> she put me behind the cupboard in the corner. And then, and then I couldn't hear them out there talking anymore and I found out they'd all gone home. <laughs> but nobody sent you in the behind the cupboard. Nobody's, nobody's going to circle around you. God believes in you. He believes in people. Ordinary people. I'm just a quite ordinary person, really. Yesterday, I don't like to give up. It's just to keep going. <coughs> just maybe there's somewhere else. Maybe there's Sanctuary. <coughs> maybe there's another village close by. Maybe there's another one. And that's what it's like. Jesus said, go to the next village. He said, go to the next one. There's more people waiting in the next one. And the disciples didn't even know the world was round. When he said, go into all the world, he didn't know that they didn't know where they were going. <laughs> we just go to be reached the water. Talking to a few fishermen, they said there's some place over there, just go out in the water out there, there's another island. So they go out to the next island and they cover that island and they go to the next island and they where they'll get in. As long as there was people, that's where they were going. So, so it's a joy to be here with you today. And it's a nice place. I like this place. It's like the upper room. You read the Bible, now about the upper room. There's a good feeling in this place. Good worship. Good people, good pastors. I really love Clement and Carol. I've probably known Clement more than anybody else in this building. <laughs> Has anyone known Clement longer than me? Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Did you meet before you met him? Yeah, you met Carol. The Bible school in Croatia. Before you met him. Yes. Were you listening in the Bible school? Yeah. So, uh, so it's a joy. I've known these people for so long. And they're the real deal. They're real. Yeah. Really special people. You can learn a lot from the faith of this, these people. 
in odmene vere se lahko veliko naučite. Because that's what you gotta glean from. You gotta glean the faith. Kaj to je tisto, kar morate motriti? The life of someone. Vero in življenje nekoga. It's Paul said, I long to come amongst you. Pavel je rekel, želim si priti med vas. That I impart some spiritual blip. da vam lahko dam nekaj od svojih duhovnih darov. In he says in Thessalonians, in Thessalonians, not only did I impart the word of God to you, ne samo da sem vam prinesel Božjo besedo, but my own life also. Ampak sem vam prinesel tudi svoje življenje. Let people impart their life into you. In naj ljudje izgledajo svoje življenje v vaša. The principles of their life. Principe svoje življenje. Amen. So before I preach, I'm going to ask Ruth to come and share some. Uh, uh, this is my wife of 38 years. And, my wife of 38 years. My wife Ruth. Good morning. They were married when they were six. It's wonderful to be here with you in Shantur. And I know that God has important purpose for your life. I sense that over the INC churches here in Slovenia, there is a Joseph anointing. Pastor Clement, God has raised you up to be a voice into this nation. And there is a strong Joseph anointing upon this movement of churches. Slovenia needs to hear the word of the Lord. And the, the people of this nation, they are longing for the move of God across this land. And I believe that as God speaks through you, there will be the prosperity that comes from heaven. And men and women will be raised up to be influencers of society. Amen. Did you know that your life is a seed in the hand of the Lord? In the book of Genesis, chapter 8, verse 22, God said to Noah, as long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest will always be. So God is interested that your life is a seed in his hands. And he's looking for a harvest. But you see, we don't have to struggle to make the harvest come. In, uh, veste, ni treba se truditi, da bi Ashley and I are very ordinary people. Uh, but we put our life in the hand of the Lord. And we've seen God do an, um, an ama work an amazing harvest through our lives. In in Mark chapter 16, verse 20, we read that the, uh, the disciples went everywhere and they preached the word of the Lord and the Lord was working with them doing signs and wonders. I want you to know that God works with you. There are men and women here whose you put your life in God's hand. And 
dali tvoje življenje v Božje roke. And there's a covenant partnership between you and the Lord. In med vami in Gospodom obstaja partnerstvo zaveze. You give all to Jesus. Ti daš vse Jezusu. And Jesus gives all to you. In Jezus da vse tebi. The new covenant that Jesus purchased with his blood is in force in your life. Nova zaveza, ki jo je Jezus plača v svojo krvju, deluje v tvojem življenju. So we read in the book of Genesis about a man called Joseph. In beremo v prvi mojnesovi o mužu z imenu Jožef. And Joseph was one man. Jožef je bil en človek. He was a young man. In bil je mladenič. And he received a word from the Lord. In je prijel besedo od gospoda. He received a vision from God. But he was not very wise about what to do with the vision. So God took him on a journey. We read in Genesis uh, chapter 39 and verse 2. The Lord was with Joseph. I want you to know the Lord is with you. The Lord works with you. And you see, God had a plan for Joseph. God wanted Joseph to have such influence in the nation. He was sold into the land of Egypt. But God needed Joseph to have to become a man of influence. Do not think that your life only has influence in the sphere of the church. But your life has influence across the other pillars of society. So the Lord was with Joseph and he was a successful man. I see here there are successful men and women in the room. And you see the man, the man who was the authority over Joseph saw that he was successful. In vidite, ta mož, ki je bil avtoriteta nad Jožefom, je opazil, da je on uspešen. And Joseph went through difficult things in his life. He was put in prison. Jožef je šel čez težke stvari v življenju. Bil je dan v ječo. He was in prison for something he did not do. Bil je v ječo zaradi nečista, kar ni storil. But even when he was in prison, he was successful. Ampak celo, ko je bil v ječi, je bil uspešen. There are successful men and women here in the room. Tukaj v tej sobi so uspešni moži in žene. The Lord is with you. Gospod je s teboj. And there is a Joseph anointing upon you. Jožefova mazitenje je na vas. I believe very much. God has placed a Joseph mantle upon Pastor Clemen. Da je gospod dal Jožefovo mazitenje na pastorja Klemna. And there is an open heaven over this movement in the nation. In nebesa so nad tem gibanju v tem narodu. And Cle uh, Clement and Carol, they stand there as father and mother in the spirit. Uh, and I'm very excited when I read the story of Joseph. I see how successful he was because God was with him. One more scripture. Listen to this. Are you ready? Are you listening? Genesis chapter 45. Verse 8. God, uh, Joseph said to his brothers. So now it was not you who sent me here, but God. And he has made me. You see, God is making you. God is making you. He's not, you are not the 
old Joseph. God has made you. Joseph said, He has made me. A father to Pharaoh. God sends you as fathers and mothers to the leaders of society. God sends you as a mother in the faith, Pastor Carol. God sends you, Clement, as a father to the leaders of society. Joseph said, God has made me a father to Pharaoh. Pharaoh gave Joseph the right to speak into his heart. God has made me the Lord over all his house. You see, God gave Joseph a place of leadership over the whole house of the most powerful man in the land. Friends, as you tap into this Joseph anointing, draw from the covenant that you have with Jesus Christ. The Lord makes you a leader in your place in society. And the Lord and uh, Joseph said, God made me a ruler throughout all the land of Egypt. So God gave Joseph the ability to manage the resources of the land. He had stored up much in the good years. And there was plenty when the years of famine came. Joseph learned wisdom from God. So he became a wise manager of the resource. What resource has God put into your hand? I believe that the Joseph anointing operating through your churches will powerfully affect the nation of Slovenia. God has made you a father to Pharaoh. Lord of all the house. The gift of leadership. And ruler of all the, over all the land. The ability to manage resources. Oh, aren't you so happy that Jesus is working with you? I see successful men and women in this room. And as you, you give your life into the hand of Jesus Christ, you are received in his hand. Let your own ambitions die. And let the desires of the Lord burn in your heart. So you also can be like Joseph, an influential man, an influential woman, and you bring blessing to your nation. God bless you. Amen. Well, I'm going to speak today, I'm going to do a little bit more
teaching today, then um, I'm going to speak on covenant relationships. I believe that you've under, if you understand this message today, <laughs> you, you will definitely have more enjoyment in life. More strength in life. More support in life. More faith in God in life. So I'm sure you will listen to what I've got to say. Your, your life will be much better off if you understand what I'm sharing with you today. Covenants. God has a lot to say about covenants. You hear about covenants every now and then. Maybe we don't hear enough about them. But you hear about them maybe at a wedding time when someone's getting married. And some people forget the covenant after a while, but it's uh, mentioned that when you have get a wedding. It's also mentioned when we have bread and wine at communion time in the church. And there some of the main times when people just talk about covenant for a few, for a few minutes. But covenants aren't just mentioned just for a few minutes. There's, there's something to live by. A covenant is a binding agreement between two or more people to do something specified. Covenant is between two people for marriage. To do something specified. A covenant is between can be between God and man to do something specified. There is no not even a, a question. If I did not have a covenant with my wife, I would not be here today. I probably would never have been preaching the gospel. But that's just the reality because what we've done we've done together. We've been running for 38 years together. And uh, that's life. You do a lot more together. Uh, it's a covenant that you have. I would say that um, I have covenant with certain people in the world. And because of that, the gospel has been able to go forward much stronger. Uh, I have a covenant with people, you know, a man, in, a couple in India. And I've joined with them in my heart to do something specified to spread the gospel in that great land. I've established a covenant with a, a, a man and a wife in, in Egypt. Now he's greatly affecting the Middle East. An extraordinary way. He's an amazing, amazing people. I have a covenant with a man in um, a couple in Bangladesh. And Wednesday this week he got last week he got beaten up for preaching the gospel. They were just baptizing people and then uh, some uh, crazy fundamentalist people attacked them. They broke his leg. I got this photograph last night. This is our apostle in Bangladesh. This is for 43,000 people. Uh, converted from Hinduism and mainly from Islam. Uh, is 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 
Ma dvije sto štiri 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 štiri
ampak soočil se zelo močnimi vplivnimi poglavari v Afriki. And um, and they said we're not letting you through. Jesu rekli ne smeš mimo. And they said well you only if you make a covenant with us. Razen če narediš zavez z nami. So these heathen tribes who did not know God. To je ta brezbožna plemena ki smo niso poznala Boga. So said to Henry Stanley if you make a covenant with us. So Stanley je rekel če boš stopil v zavez z nami. We will let you through. Te bomo spustili skozi. So the chief said. Zato je poglavar in poglavar rekel. I want your goat. And Henry Stanley had this little goat, which he liked milk from this goat all the time. <laughs> True story. Because a covenant means two ways. You exchange something two ways. And the chief said, I'll give you my spear. And Henry Stanley, the missionary, thought he's getting a bad deal. <laughs> I'm just getting a spear that I can't even throw. <laughs> but I'm giving up my goat that I get milk from every day. <laughs> but after a bit of negotiation, he realized this is what he had to do. <laughs> True story. True story. Anyway, they made a covenant together. The chief gets a goat. And the other man gets a spear. But he doesn't even know how to throw the spear. And then it doesn't take him long to realize wherever he goes with that spear. Everyone just says yes, yes, yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> they all recognize this spear came from the big chief. <laughs> he was real and he had realized and then they had a pretty good deal. <laughs> For everyone to go, he just showed him the spear. Showed him the spear. I think he forgot about his goat after a while. He just kept on going with that spear. And then finally, he found the missionary David Livingston. He hadn't been seen for six years. But finally, because of the covenant he had made with the chief, he found David Livingston. He said the famous words, David Livingston, I presume. He might be the only white man down there. He said, what are you doing here? So that's a true story. And um, so making and keeping covenants. So that was, they were unsaved people, the, the, the tribals at that time. So making and keeping covenants. Is an aspect of God in this world. And because the Bible says in James chapter 1, verse 17, that every good and perfect gift comes from God above. You see, every good and perfect gift comes from God. Covenants are from God. So God made covenant with people. He, he made it with the Jewish people. He made it with Abraham. He made a covenant with Abraham. He said, I'll give you this land. North, south, east and west, I give you this land. And, and God is a covenant keeping God. But there was things that, that Abraham had to do and things that the Jewish people had to do, things that God would do. There was a, a relationship together. Sometimes the children of Israel drifted away. But God says, you come back, I'll still got my covenant with you. 
Ali Bog je rekao, pridite nazaj in zaveza še vedno drži. I think God is amazing. In mislim, da je Bog osobljiv. You know, there's such benefits of following God. In dejansko veliko pridobimo, če sledimo Bogu. Much better than carrying a big spear. In dosti boljše, kot če nosimo veliko kopje. It's to carry the blessing of God. I je boljše, da nosimo Božji blagoslov. Upon your life. Na svojem življenju. It was like an invisible force around this missionary where we took the big spear that everyone respect. Tomar bolje je, tam je se narazil to kopje, je bilo vidjeti, kot je okrog njega neko mogočno polje, ne tisto. But carrying a covenant with God in your life, ampak ko nosiš Božjo zavezo v svojem življenju, will give you favor in your life. Ti bo dalo naklonjenost. It will give you peace in your heart. Ime boš mir v srcu. It will give you much more fulfillment in your life. In v življenju boš dosti bolje spopolnjen. I like this in what God says in his things, maybe if you want to read this. In Exodus chapter 19 verse 5. V drugi Mojzesovi, v 19. poglavju, vrstica 5. What God said to Israel because of the covenant. Torej, kaj je Bog rekel Izraelu za voljo zaveze. Now therefore, if you indeed obey my voice. Zdaj pa, če boste res poslušali moj glas. Če boste da res poslušali moj glas in izpolnjevali mojo zavezo, mi boste posebna lasnina izmed vseh ljudstev, kajti moja je vsa zemlja. In vidite, gre za zavezo. Bog je imel zavezo z ljudi. V Hebrejcem, v 11. poglavju, beremo, da so pogani bili vsajeni v zavezo, ki jo je Bog imel z ljudi. Mi smo bili notri vsejeni. Torej, jaz sem bil sadjar in sem vzdojil na tisoče dreves pomaranč. I grafted thousands of trees. In sem tepil številne med njimi. Before I was ever a preacher. Preden sem bil prediga. I had orchard. Imel sem sadonjak. And I used to graft, I'd get one branch of one tree and I'd graft it onto another tree. In sem torej odcepil za devo in sem vzem temo vejo z enega drevesa in sem jo odcepil na drugo drevo. Sometimes I would sit all day just going for long with trees, just grafting, 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 grafting. Torej včasih bi to delal cel dan, samo to. In a good day I could graft over 300 in one day. In na dober dan sem lahko delal 300 dreves. And because I would increase the, the, get a better variety. In za voljo tega sem dobil boljše sorte. From the root stock, which was one type, which the root was one, one type was good. In torej, korenina je bila ena in je bila dobra. Then I would graft another branch of something else into it. In sem potem cepil neko drugo vrsto na to korenino. So it would draw from the good root stock. Zato, da je vlekla hranila iz dobre korenine. And I did this a lot. In to sem počenjal pogosto. But we have been grafted into this Jewish covenant. Mi pa smo bili vsajeni v to judovsko zavezo. Which is a good rootstock. Kjer je korenina odlična. Because he said that covenant will be forever. Kaj ti pravi, da ta zaveza je večna. It's not just for one generation. Ni samo za eno generacijo. He said I will keep this covenant forever. Je pa ki rekel, ta zaveza je večna. We as believers get grafted into that covenant. Mi kot verniki smo v bistvu vsajeni ustavljeni v to zavezo. We were in Israel only a week and a half ago. Pred tednom je pol so bila v Izraelu. We just went over there just for, just for having a look around and take a few pictures. Šla sva si pač malo gledati Izrael. But when you go there, you can hear people praying. In ko greš tjela, ko sliš ljudi, ki mojo. God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Bog Abrahama, Izaka in Jakoba. Oh yeah, that's the one I'm praying for. Ja, se ktemo Bogu tudi jaz mojim. It's just nice hearing that just, oh God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Torej, super je to slišati, ker reče Bog Abrahama, Izaka in Jakoba. Do you know, it's just wonderful, really. In je dejansko zelo lepo. When David went to fight Goliath, Ko je David šel v boj z Goliatom, je rekel, kdo je ta neobrezani filistej, ki se opira proti Božjemu vojsku. Kdo je ta neobrezani filistej, ki se opira proti Božjemu vojsku. Ki se opira v vojski živega Boga. David je malo ginger head, malo jen gaj. David je mali ridžo. In gre naproti velikemu 
Porto. Where was his victory? Because he knew how to sling that stone. Though he said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Someone who has no covenant. To me, a Jewish boy. Who I have a covenant with God. Because the sign of the Jewish covenant was circumcision. What he was really saying is, I've got a covenant, you haven't. This is, this is between God who blesses me and you who do not have a covenant. What David was doing was remembering the covenant. He was remembering the covenant. There is power in remembering the covenant. There is power in remembering the covenant. Everyone say, remember the covenant. Because sometimes you forget it. There's sometimes each day you forget it. Have you thought about it much today before I spoke about it? I won't tell the truth. You probably didn't think a lot about it. <laughs> no, but yesterday as well. Unless you went to a wedding. You know, because most times we forget about it for a while. But you've got to remember it. Because there's power in drawing from the remembrance of it. And God is the same. The Bible says in, in Exodus chapter 2 verse 24. It says, so God heard their groaning. And God remembered the covenant he made with Abraham. This is where the children of Israel were in Egypt, in bondage. Sometimes I see people in bondage. Even Christian people in bondage. You know what you need to do? Call out to God. And God remembers His covenant with you. If you've got problems in your life, in your health, in your body, whatever, call upon a covenant God. The Bible says, and God remembered his covenant with the children of Israel. And the history is written of how he delivered them. People complain to everything. They complain to everybody. But when you finish complaining, make sure you remember your covenant. <laughs> Probably best if you don't complain. But if you remember the story of the children of Israel in the wilderness, God wasn't too interested in all their moaning and complaining. But he was interested in keeping the covenant. I like it. Do you like this? I love covenant. God made a covenant. Made a covenant with his people. He has made a covenant with me. He has made a covenant with you. Remember the covenant. Many times in my life. When I've gone through difficult times. I have remembered the covenant. I have remembered the power of the covenant. I pray for my children sometimes. I prayed over them, Lord, I thank you that you'll bless me and my descendants. You'll bless my family. You see, it's just amazing. I, 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 just, I hope you understand what I'm saying. I mean, when you, 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 sometimes you go through battles. Sometimes you go through fights. Really. Fights for your faith, for your health, for your family. But if you enter into that holy place, in that secret place, and you call upon a God of comfort, 
in kliče ko Bogu zaveze. He answers. On odgovori. He has to answer. Kaj ti mora? Because you remember the covenant. Kaj ti ti se spominjaš zaveze. So then it all gets enforced. In potem se vse ujača. It may not be instant. Mogoče se ne bo zgodilo v trenutku. Because maybe you didn't, it took you, you wandered for a few years. Mogoče si več let bil zdravno pogaj. But I tell you, when you get into that place, stay there, day after day, remembering the covenant. In se dan za dnev spominjaj zaveze. And your life will be aligned back to him. In tvoje življenje se bo poravnalo nazaj na njega. I prayed over my family sometimes when they needed healing. In na ta način sem molil za svojo družino, kadar smo rabili zdravitve. Ko je najna starejša hčist skoraj omrla, dejansko je bila minute pred smrtjo. Imela je meningitis, ki je vplivo na njene možgane. In v bistvu do zore je niso pričakvali, da bo živela. A ustal sem tam. Pominjal zavezno. If she dies, she dies. Če umre, umre. So the devil's gonna pay a big price if she dies. I told him so that night. I said, if you, if you take my daughter, you will pay a price for this. You need to understand. Life is gonna get more difficult for you, devil. It's gonna get more difficult for you. You shouldn't have done this in the first place. That's what I told him. I said to him that night. It's like two o'clock in the morning. Our daughter's unconscious. The doctors are expecting her to die. They telephoned other doctors who were sleeping to come and see someone just before they die of meningitis. Uklicali so ostale zdravnike, ki so že spali, ne pride v okolnico, se vgleda človeka, kako umre zaradi meni. Ampak še ena bitka se je bila v tistem drugu. Bible says in John 10.10. V Janosu 10.10 pravi, The thief comes to rob, kill and destroy. Tad prihaja, da krade, da vničuje in vbija. But Jesus said, I've come to give you life and life more abundantly. In Jezus pravi, jaz sem prišel, da bi dal življenje in življenje v obilju. And there was a battle going on that night. In tiste večer se je dala bitka. But you go through battles. Tudi vi greš se skozi. You go through battles. Don't tell me you don't. You go through battles. You know what the biggest battle is? Remembering and enforcing the covenant. Because if, because if you do that part, God will do his part. But if you just moan, complain, da 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 da, I'm leaving the church. You know what? You are playing into the devil's hands. I can tell you for a fact. But if you remember your covenant, don't blame anybody else. It's between you and God. Grow up on the inside. Don't be a baby on the inside. Grow up. Remember the covenant. Stand in that place. And let God be for your life. If God be for you, who can stand against you? Who can stand against you? If God be for you, who can stand against you? I know you have to die one day. So I don't know when you'll die. If Jesus don't come back in the next hundred years, we'll probably all die. <laughs> So at some point you die, but you die when you've finished your job. When my grandmother turned a hundred, I thought I'd pay her a compliment. I said, Grandma, I think you'll live for another five years. <laughs> One, I thought I was paying, that was a, that's a lot when you're a hundred. <laughs> but one look from her face, I thought I'd never say that ever again. <laughs> like, are you trying to cut my life short or something? <laughs> that was my grandma. You don't get on the wrong side of grandma. Anyway, but when she was 108, she was so happy, so excited. I, you know, and she was so happy. I never bothered saying that the five years. She was so happy. 
And I said to her a few times, I said, Grandma, you haven't finished the work that God's got for you to do. <laughs> 108, she was so happy. I said, what's the matter, Grandma? Just led a young man to the Lord. That's why she was still alive. She had something to do. How old is a young man? How old is a young man? He said 68. He was in the old people's home with her. She was, she was still doing the work. And grandma said, God said, I'm not, she's not dying yet because she's still got work to do. You got work to do. You got work to do. Call upon the covenant. The covenant will bring such blessing. Because you learn the rules of working the covenant. Read Deuteronomy 28 about the covenant, about about the blessing. I'm not going to turn to it now, but read it. The blessings of living in the covenant, the blessings of not living in the covenant. It's as simple as simple. It's a simple. And there's certain conditions you have to do to keep living in the covenant. And for the blessings of the covenant. And that's why we have the bread and wine. Sometimes you have bread and wine communion in church. <coughs> when, you're, when you remember the covenant, Jesus said, do this. In remembrance of me in the covenant. We had a man in our church who was covered in a rash all over his whole body. One time when he's having the communion, just just disappeared the rash. It's not just some religious thing you do. <coughs> nothing in this, nothing in church life is just some religious thing you do. There's a purpose in it. There's a purpose in everything that we do. Like when we're worshipping, there's a purpose in why we're worshipping. There's a purpose in why we have a communion. There's a purpose. Amen. Amen. Are you happy today? Yeah. Oh, Jesus said that in uh, maybe later on if you want to have some. But the communion is so powerful. Jesus says like it. Took the bread and gave in Luke not 22 19. Gave that thanks for it. The Luca uh, uh, wine wise said the bit nice. But you've read this many times. Uh, I'm sure you have. The privilege and send the stand. Sometimes we forget. I'm just in Puzabi. They were the blessings. Uh, kind of a slow in Asha. Amen. Uh, sorry, Luca wine wise, the bit nice. Amen. So, so I like it. It's a covenant. Uh, in Also in Psalm 103. I, I like this this chapter, Psalm 103. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. It goes on to say, forget not all the benefits. Don't forget the benefits. Benefits of being a child of God. Is that you have a covenant with him? He says, forget not all the benefits. Forget not. I tell you this, which I'm telling you today, will change your life. It can change your finances and your health and everything around you. I mean, people just say, what have I got to live for? What have I got to live for? Like, what have I got to live for? I'm going to die for the rest of my life. I'm going to die for the rest of my life. I'm going to die for the rest of my life. I'm going to die for the rest of my life. I'm going to die for the rest of my life. I'm going to die for the rest of my life. I'm going to die for the rest of my life. God blesses your soul. God, do 
She would just worship God on her bed. And the sound of the music of her singing, no music, no, no instruments, just the sound of her singing would just go down the corridor of the home. Every night, every night, for, between 6 and 7 o'clock. <laughs> and they would hear this whole 112 year old lady just sit with this voice going down the corridors of the home. <laughs> When she died, I didn't want to clean her room out. This is where this holy woman lived. <laughs> and for a whole month they just locked the door and they didn't go in there. And finally people said, look, we've got to use this room in the home because other people are needing it. And finally they had to, had to use it. <laughs> because of the anointing and the love of Jesus. I know that you like this story. I'll tell you the day she died, what happened? The day before. Pretend to be grandma for them. The doctor came. I said, Mrs. Schmier. You're going to die tonight. <coughs> because your heart is going to be getting to go slow like it's just watched off it. It's been going perfect all her life, but now it's just going boom, boom, going slow. She said, you'll die tonight. Between 2 and 3 o'clock tomorrow morning, you'll probably die. Because he understood that's when your heart goes at the very lowest in the middle of the night. But Grandma got so excited. <laughs> because she'd been waiting to die for a long time. <laughs> she had told me, she said, I feel like I'm in God's waiting room. <laughs> and everybody keeps going in before me. <laughs> and my sister said, my sister said, you're supposed to tell somebody you're in the waiting room. <laughs> <laughs> so she got so excited that she was going to die this particular night. She's 112. She loved Jesus so much. Anyway, next morning she's still laying there. <laughs> She's still laying there, true story. She's still laying there. <laughs> and all these people around the bed waiting for her to die. <laughs> they're, all getting, they're probably getting all bleary because they haven't slept all night waiting for her to die. <laughs> <laughs> they, they said, Mrs. Schmierer, can you hear us? <laughs> oh, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Mrs. Schmierer, can you hear us? <laughs> she said, Yes, I can hear you. About <laughs> <laughs> 11 o'clock, <laughs> Grandma sits up in bed. <laughs> she said, How long does this take? <laughs> How long does this take? <laughs> like, I've never died before. <laughs> <laughs> How long does this take? <laughs> anyway, she just lay down, relaxed, and then finally she relaxed, and then she went back. <laughs> That's an amazing story, isn't it? <laughs> Someone who was ready. He had lived by the covenant. He lived by the covenant. Let it be your story. Let it be your life. Just secondly, I'm going to talk quickly on, on the covenant between people. Because there's a covenant between people and God. But between people. And the reason I have a covenant. We got married. The covenant. 38 years ago. 
Ti traži 8.35. We got married. Your pastors here are married. That's good. They're in covenant together. You know, covenants are very powerful. Have a covenant. Marriage is a covenant. But then you make covenant also between people. Clem and I never speak much about this. But it's obvious we have a covenant together. We have a bond together. A life together. You haven't got to see each other every day to have a covenant. But it's a spiritual agreement. There's benefits of staying in a spiritual agreement. You know that? There's benefits of it. You walk away from it. And what have you got? You just think, oh well, I'm just attend this church, attend that church, attend this church. <laughs> but we're talking about covenant together. And that's a deep thing. That's one of the reasons. I, I honestly believe I'm, I'm a greatly blessed man. I have covenant with people in different countries that, that I have, they're, they're my sons in the Lord. Even the man that trained me, my, my, my father in the Lord, I honor him. If he was here today, I'd say, Kevin, just stand up, please. I want everybody to see you. I would not be here today if it wasn't for you. You're the man that raised me up. I want you everybody here right now just to honor this man. I've done it many times, many, many times. Wherever he is. To me it's precious. I'm telling you deep things of life this morning. It will affect your life deeply. If you learn the value of See, many times people just live by the surface things of life. They just live by the surface things. I just need some air to breathe and some money. That's so why I just live the surface things. They almost live like animals. But we are not animals. We are children of God. But all of us went a wrong way. And then God brings us into His family. And then, then we learn to live by His rules. The Bible says in Proverbs, Happy is the man who gains understanding. If you gain understanding on the covenant, you'll be very happy. You'll be very happy. But I've seen a lot of sadness. As people forget the covenant and principles of covenant. I think it's time for Slovenia to be changed. Amen. Change will not come from the government. Change will not come from the people outside. Change will come from God's people in the nation. Covenant, that, that change will come by people like you. Bringing blessing to this nation. People living by covenant. Sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes it's difficult. But listen, we forget the covenant unless if it's always good. Sometimes we forget the covenant if it's all good. You know something, something about coming to God and saying, God, this is who I am. You know what it cost me? When I heard about this man in Bangladesh, I sent him a thousand pounds. I said, oh man, you don't want to break your leg. I have covenant with him. 
and give me mum's a beers. Like, not the man's got to be kissing. Because he's gone through difficult times and all the ministries like orphanages and children that he's looking after because they've got no homes and everything like that. Torej, še jaz ste zelo težavno obdobje po svojem življenju, ker med drugim, da poleg tega, da vodi crkve, da bi bil preteperen, še mora skrbeti za osirotene otroke in sirotišnice. He has 40 girls, and if they weren't in orphanage, they'd be sold for body parts. People get paid up. Odgovarja za 40 deklic, ki če on ne bi imel v sirotišnici, bi dejansko porobali njihovi notar. You understand it? That's the world out there. That's the world. Children are caught, body parts, sold for body parts. Wicked, wicked, wicked world. We live in a bad world. But God has got a plan. God has got a plan. God has got a plan. For Slovenia. Amen. So let's be in relationship together. I can talk about the covenant that your God has between husband and wife. I think some of you need to remember it sometimes. Yeah, I do. 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 And your wife by covenant.
<laughs> See, there's a lot of times we are we are not blessed because we're not understanding covenant. And I remember and there's a verse in Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 7. It's, a, it's quite a little bit funny really, but I like this verse. He said, I have seen horse, servants on horses while princes walk on the ground like servants. Solomon says, I've seen some strange things in my life. He said, I've seen some strange things. I've seen sometimes a servant sitting on the horse. And the princes are walking on the ground. Like servants. Yeah, Solomon just thought, I've seen some strange things. What that verse is saying, is there something wrong? Uh, it's not right for the servants to be walking on the ground. So while the servants are riding on the horse, well, the prince is actually carrying the servant around. That's how I think sometimes about Christians. Sometimes they're acting just like they're, they're the servant. And, 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 and poverty is riding as a prince. And poverty is riding as a prince. And you say, which way would you like to go, poverty? Or sickness is riding as a prince. And you are like the, and you are really acting like the servant. Friends, I want to tell you, get on your horse. Get on your horse. You're made to be the prince. You're not made, made to be the servant. You're made to be the prince. I mean, still serve in the church. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I'm going to just mention that. <laughs> I hope you understand that. But you're not made to be just a nobody. People just feel like I'm a nobody. You are a somebody. Get on your horse. And be the prince. Be the princess. Tell yourself that. Tell the circumstances that. Remember the covenant that you have with God, that you have with people, and it enriches your soul. Enriches your soul. It makes you feel good on the inside. The enemy makes you feel like a nobody. Yeah, walk on the ground. And the enemy wants to sit and rule over your life. Friends, you're a You're special. You are special. You are marked by God. You've come into his family. Make a quality decision. In spremajte pravilne odločitve. To live by the covenant. In živite po zavezi. To live by it. Živite po zavezi. So quality of life. Kvaliteta življenja. Comes. Pride. From that relationship. Iz tega odnosa z Bogom. I just mentioned this in closing. Just about Jonathan and David. They had a relationship together. And, um, and then they were in covenant together. You read the story. Amazing story. Jonathan got killed. And David's alive. David grows to be a great king. Because he's lived by the covenant of God. I pray that in your life, that it will be blessed for you all the days of your life. All the days of your life. But David then, in his palace, 
He's in his palace, having all the food at his table. God says he has prepared a table before you in the presence of your enemies. But Psalm 23. I'll be prepared a table before you. Well, you know what we're going to have? We might have some bread and wine, and that's a table. Because it's a covenant. Before the enemies. Because the enemy cannot enter into the covenant. Satan and his demons cannot enter the covenant that you can enter into. David, David's living in his palace and enjoying life. David živi u svojim palači i nažive življenje. And he remembered many years ago he had a covenant with Jonathan who was now dead. I se je spomnio da je pred mnogo let imel zavezo z Jonatanom, ki je zdaj mrtev. And he said to his, he said to somebody in the palace. I nekom u palači je rekel, ej pogled. Is there anybody out there that is a descendant or relative of Jonathan who's now dead? A je zuna in gor koli, ki je potomec Jonatana, ki je zdaj mrtev. And they came come back to him. They said we found a guy. He's crippled. He can't walk. In pride je rečel, ja, našli smo enega, ki je pohabljen, ne more hoditi. His name je Mephibosheth. In imenu je Mephibosheth. And he can't walk, they had to carry him into the palace. In dejaz to ni mogel hoditi, zato so ga v palaču morali prinesti. But David's a covenant man. Ampak David je mor zavezen. But Mephibosheth feels like he's just a dog. He's got his broken legs and nobody cares about him, he's just a beggar. Nikomu ni mar zan, samo beračje. And David comes, remembers the covenant. In David pride, se spomni zaveze. And he tells Mephibosheth, come and sit at my table. Reče Mephibosheth, pridi, sedi pri moji mizi. I love this picture. Ušeč mi je, da bi spodoba. I love this picture of David, of a covenant man. Ušeč mi je, da bi spodoba Davida, ki je moj zaveze. And David remembers his covenant. In David se spomni te zaveze. Because he's lived by covenant. Since he was a young man that said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Remember his covenant with God. And now he's thinking, who do I have a covenant with this man? You know what was written about David? David was a man after God's own heart. God is a covenant God. In Bog je Bog zavezen. But God had found a man. Ampak Bog je našel moža. Who was a covenant man. Ki je bil mož zavezen. Now that's pretty deep. In to je zelo globoko. That's pretty amazing. To je uzubljivo. He had found someone. Našel je nekoga. Of the same heart. Ki je imel isto srce. But David was a man after God. In a heart after God. David je bil mož po Božjem srcu. And David says, bring me free Mosheth. In David rekel, priperite me Filošeta. And this is what happens. In to se, kaj se je zgodilo? And, 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 and he said, um, oh, this is so exciting, this is so exciting. This is what Mephibosheth said. In to je tisa narekel na Filošet. And he bowed down to King David. What am I, your servant? Kaj sem jaz, tvoj služabnik? That you would look at me as a dog. Da se bi ti vzrl na me psa. This is what Mephibosheth is thinking. Oh, David! To je to, kar si mislim, Mephibosheth. Who am I? David, kdo sem jaz? A mighty king. Ti mogočni kralj. Don't kill me. Ne me ubi. I'm just like a dog. Sem kot pes. In na tak način razmišljajo mnogi ljudje. Razmišljajo kot vsi. Razmišljajo kot Mephibosheth. Ampak David ni razmišljal na tak način. David was thinking as a man after God's own heart. Bog je razmišljal kot mož po Božjem srcu. I've got a covenant. Imam zavezo. And meanwhile Mephibosheth was thinking, I'm feeling like a dog, don't kill me. Mephibosheth pa me ne razmišlja, jaz sem kot pes, ne me ubit. Do you know what has to happen? Veste, kaj se mora zgoditi? You have to change your thinking. Spremeniti morate svoje razmišljanje. As a child of God. Kot Božji otrov. To change your thinking. Morate spremeniti razmišljanje. From thinking I'm a nobody. Da si ne misliš več, jaz sem nihče. Because that's what a lot of people think, I'm a nobody. Kaj ti števili ljudje imajo takšno predenje v sebi. Mephibosheth thought he was a nobody. Mephibosheth je vrlo pričan, da je in. But he was a somebody. 
David said, Mephibosheth. David rekel, Mephibosheth. I made a covenant with your father. And you are going to sit at my table having food forever. As, as long as I'm here, you're going to be at my table. Mephibosheth, what? Am I dreaming or what? Just take me back to the right dog's kennel out the back. <laughs> that would be more comfortable for my thinking in the dog kennel. <laughs> no, but you're going to feast at my table. Can you imagine for the coming years? Every meal time. Every meal time. King David sits down. And across from him is Mephibosheth, who was once a cripple. But who do you think was most blessed? Who do you think? Mephibosheth. Do you think Mephibosheth was the most blessed because no longer was he living in the dog kennel, but he's now sitting at the at the at the table? I'm convinced it was David. Certainly, certainly both of them were blessed. But for David, he gets blessed. Because he feels, I've done something, I've remembered my covenant that I had. Because in a covenant, both get blessed. It's a win-win situation. It's a win-win. When you're in covenant with brethren, with family, with church, it's win-win. We're not talking about, we're not talking about, uh, um, um, Everyone being perfect. No, we're talking about something holy. That bonds relationships together. And I think that in Slovenia, there's need to understand God's relationship and the deep things of God of covenant that we're bound for life. This is deep. We're in relationship. Ruth and I said vows. For richer. For poorer. In sickness and in health. Hey, covenant. I think covenant is good. It's brought great blessing. Have we been married maybe... Our daughter was 25. And um, she said to us, Mom, Dad, said, I've been to a lot of homes around the world. I've been to lots and lots of houses all over the world. But she said, you guys are the most happiest people I've ever been, have the happiest family home that I've ever been. She said, you guys are the most happiest people I've ever been. That's good when your daughter's 25 year old and she lives with you every day, or pretty much, <laughs> What she's really saying is, I now want a home like you've got. I've understood this covenant relationship. So I encourage you, church. To go deeper in your Christian life. I felt to really preach this message today. I, 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 I felt like doing a different sort of message this morning. I felt like God wanted me to speak this message. And therefore, it's for you. The Bible says, He who has ears, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. You're the church. Have ears to hear what the Spirit, Holy Spirit, says to the church. He wanted you to be here today. He brought you here. He made sure you were here to hear this message. So today, let's remember the covenant. Some of you may go through, be going through some battles. And sometimes it's good to get someone else to pray for you. 
И я добро, да никто друг молит за вас. But there are other times. А в другой час. It's good for me. Я добро, да. Just to go to that secret place. Грешно, то скрыло место. And say God. Речь Бог. God. Бог. Cause your face to shine. Най твой образ сие над ману. Cause your face to shine. Най сие над ману. Thank you for your blessing. Хвала тебе, благо за Thank you Lord for this. Хвала тебе, благо за Слово. When I come back to my house, I'm blessed. Lord bless me, Lord. Let me be blessed amongst men. I've said that to Ruth many times. It's okay, you can say it too. But I will say, Ruth, I am blessed amongst men. I'm blessed amongst men. Ruth is blessed amongst men. <laughs> you can say it as well. Don't mean to say that I'm going to be the only one blessed in this place. I'm saying that so you will feel comfortable about it. <laughs> that when you get on the horse, that you say, oh, okay. I'm not worthy to be on the horse. <laughs> I think I should be on the ground like a servant. <laughs> oh, oh, so you're not like Mephibosheth. Mithibush, <laughs> so I'm just like a dog when I come to church. I don't feel as though I'm even worthy to be in this church. We have this, some people join our church one time. And they, they didn't have much money. Actually, once they had gone bankrupt. They lost all their money. These people came to us a little bit of counselling first. And then they were going to the hospital. And then they said, "Do you mind if we come to your church?" And they said, "Do you mind if we come to your church?" And they said, "Do you mind if we come to your church?" And they said, "Do you mind if we come to your church?" And they said, "Do you mind if we come to your church?" And they said, "Do you mind if we come to your church?" And they said, "Do you mind if we come to your church?" And they said, "Do you mind if we come to your church?" And they said, "Do you mind if we come to your church?" And they said, "Do you mind if we come to your church?" And they said, "Do you mind if we come to your church?" And they said, "Do you mind if we come to your church?" And they said, "Do you mind if we come to your church?" And they said, "Do what a silly! What a! I mean, I really felt for their hearts. Like, oh, you know, maybe, maybe not good for the reputation of the church. There's there people like us here. The smiley, the smiley, the dance for the smiley. I'm going to go to the church. I didn't see your church. There was a lot of people who were slow to look at your church. You don't understand who you're joining. Yeah, we refuse to have people like you in the church because else your life's going to change. Do you know what? A few years ago, they inherited a house. They got a whole house inherited, given to them. Big, nice, really nice house. Big change. Big change in their life. How big is God? How big is God? So let's remember covenant today. Can we have the bread and the wine? Is that good? Okay. Thank you. Is that? That one's going. You do. You hand to hand. Thank you, Jesus. Are you happy today? Happy. I want to see you happy, man. I want to see you happy. Let's see you happy about relationships. Covenant with God.
ker Jezus je prilil svoj kri prav zate. Ne, če si kdaj gledal vine tuja, ampak one dva sta si prerezala vsak malo kože, ta belc pa vine tu in sta si kri pomešala. In to je zavezaj po krvi. Jezus je svoj kri mogel prelili, ker smo mi dva grešni, ki se je rodila. In v dreše misli zato, ker boš kaj dobrega naredil, ampak zato, ker sprejmaš njegovo žrtov zast, zast je na križu. Njegov kri je tekla na križu in rekel, to bo to ga jusnilo, to bo za jošnjo, to bo za njih, to bo za njih. In ko je zlobno svoj telo, to je zast je naredil, da si ti odreš. Jaz sem včeri eni sestri, ki je govorila, jaz sem nečista, se je povedal, kri Jezusa te očista. Ko si sprejela Jezusa, si zdaj čista, on je govi krvi. Amen. Če še mi si sprejel vsa, gremo vsi skupaj. Aj to tukaj, da še mi si te zaveze vredi. Bilo sam roko bilo, da nisi siguran, a si v zavezi z Bogu. Bilo sam roko bilo še vredi. Ok, ok, dobro, gde? Ok, hvala za te iskrene roke. Rad bi prijem zdaj to pijemo. Dajmo vsi skupaj mor za molitev za spret Jezusa, za stopati v njegovo zavezo. Amen. Kuda, ki imaš, a kruh imamo tu, kruh bo tudi šel. Ampak dajmo se fokusirati zdaj na Jezusa. Jezus ni ena zgodovinska, mitična figura, on je donos v te zgrani. Ešte je bil pred dvemi tedni v Jeruzalem, je šel njegov grob pogledati. In veste kaj, ni ga bilo no. No, ker prazni. Jel se ni v grob, on je zdaj tukaj. Bil je trenutek, ki je bil v grob. Je mogel svoje življenje dati zadnje poznamo. Ampak, kot pa sprejmo še jaz, v srcu verujem. Ne piše, da moš v glavi vse še nekaj. Piše, s srcom verujemo, ker je tvoje srce, ki pričuje, da je to res, ki si donat uslušal. In z usti ga priznaš za svojega gospoda oziroma gospodarja in boš odrečen. Amen? Ne piše, da najprej nekaj preklinja, pa se pretepati po lokali. Ne piše najprej, vrem v srcu, z usti ga priznaj. In kaj se ti bo zgodil zdaj, ki ga bo sprejel? On bo prišel v živet, pa in to je zavezno. Bog in človek postanete eno. Bog, Jezus pride vate in postaneš njegov človek. Hvala ti jaz, da si prelomil svoj telo, kot ko mi lomil tako. In si prišel v nas živet, kar je bilo. Tako, dajmo skupaj zdaj vsi bod. Ok, če bi rad sprejel, jaz sem molitev pohovor z Bogom. Zdaj mu boš predal življenje. Dal mu boš vno svojo kozo, to so tvoje greki, in boš njegovo kopje vzel. To je avtoriteta, Boži sin boš vzel. In Boža vzel. Reči, jaz jaz ti predaj svoje življenje. Svoje grešno življenje. Jaz se ne mora sam odrešati. Zato sprejemam kri, ki si jo prelil za me na križu. Zdaj verjamo, Vati. Hvala, da si umrl na križu. Hvala, da si zdaj žil. In zdaj priti v moje življenje. Priti v moje srce. Jaz te priznal za svojega novega gospodarja. Ti si moj gospod. Ti si moj gospod. Jaz sem zdaj blagoslovljen. Jaz sem zdaj v zavezi s tabo. Amen. Amen. Prejmo vsi vino. Hvala sem kaj zdi dugo. Hvala ti, da si dal svojo krizo, ne shvala ti za telo. Amen. And when you're having the bread and the wine, having a change of thinking. Mephibosheth was no longer thinking like God. Mephibosheth was no longer thinking like God. 
I belong at the king's table. Because of the covenant. Because of the covenant. You belong at the king's table. The table of the king of kings. The table of the Lord of Lords. All the benefits. Are yours. Forget not all the benefits. Forget not. Let's be covenant people. Covenant with God. This is holy day. This is the heart of Christianity. The covenant we have. Pray, Lord. People of sickness will be healed. Amen. 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 God is um, <coughs> churning up people's hearts. <coughs> you know how you have someone, a guitarist, will come, and the first thing the guitarist always does is starts just, just doing, 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 making sure it's all in tune. So that when they start to play and sing, it just is, it sounds beautiful and it's in tune. I feel as though this morning, God is just uh, tuning up people's hearts, making their hearts like a, a melody. Getting people's minds right. Uh, you really are somebody. You really are somebody. And I know you laughed before when that guy was going along with the speaker. And he's all, uh, hey, okay, but let's face it, your old life was a bit of a goat. Really, your old life was a bit of a goat, don't you? <laughs> so, so you gave up the ghost <laughs> to become a child of God. <laughs> have favor upon your life. <laughs> Remember this. <laughs> Pass it on to your children. <laughs> that it would be well with them. <laughs> that they would keep these six precious. <laughs> And make sure you do. That's what the children of Israel had to do. Train up their children. Pass these things on. And make sure they understand how important it is. That they would be covered people. And I just say, to in this church here, don't be uh, flaky people. Uh, and here today, gone tomorrow. Be people in the church planted in the house of God. Uh, that you, this is where God touched your life. And say, what can I do? To make the church a better place. Some people every now and then say, oh, there's no love in the church. I don't know, they can send it to you probably. You know what I say to people? Wow. Wow. You, it's amazing that you have such understanding. 
We really need you here to bring it. Because we need you, don't leave, because, because if without understanding, how much can you bless this church? You can bless us much more. Because that's what people are saying. Most people sometimes we think only about ourselves. But the covenant doesn't just think about itself. A covenant thinks about someone else. And in that, in the you actually are, you are both blessed. Let's see what you can do in the church. I'm amazed I became the international president of the church. Really, I'm not some big theologian. I'm not a big theologian. I just, I, I understand covenant relationship. I understand relationship. I understand the holy things of God. Some things you just, you can't laugh about. Now, it's sort of precious in my life. You know, I just, I wish you could travel with me for a month, but you can't. Because they're, they're my friends, my covenant friends. I'm only telling you this. Because I want it in Slovenia. I feel as though we can grab this truth. There will be nothing impossible for the church of Slovenia. And Slovenia can go from one of the least numbers of Christians in, in, in the world to one of the highest numbers. Because you don't have many people here, you can do that very quickly. <laughs> you can go from one of the least numbers to one of the highest numbers, like within a, within a few years. Show them how precious church is. Because they're going to be blessed. 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 Because they're to be and see the hand of blessing upon everything you do. Now, same God bless you. Now, Amen. Amen.